What is up guys? Welcome back. Um, today we're going to have a little bit of a fun day. Uh, I'm about to head up for my last week of high school here. Um, and so right now I'm about to go see if I can hit some school lifting records. Um, so right now I'm sipping on my Nitroflex pre-workout. Uh, getting ready to go. And I'm probably going to go for a, a bench squat PR. So hopefully uh, we can hit uh, some personal PRs as well as maybe even a couple school records or something. So that's going to be pretty cool. So. I will see you guys up there. So for the bench, so I ended up hitting 315, uh, you know, that's what I hit a couple months ago as well. So I haven't really progressed too much on bench, but the all-time record at my school is 315, which isn't all that high, but so I tied the record, um, decided to go for 320 pounds uh, right after that. And uh, as you guys can see, I did not get the 320 pound bench press, uh, but I did tie the school record. So bench press, I'll be at the, the top of the list. The, the squat record, our, um, the squat PR I just hit, so I just hit 485 um, a couple weeks ago, so now I just went for uh, 500 pounds, that's been my goal, and I know I'm looking at the video now, and um, my depth is a little bit high, which is a little bit above parallel, so uh, I'm happy with it, but you know, if I'm going to compete, obviously, um, in the near future, I would need to correct that and get uh, below parallel, um, but yeah, so I got 500, went ahead, and 500 felt really, really smooth. So through fives on each side, went for 510 pounds. And again, I was a little above parallel on the squat depth. So depth needs to be a little bit lower, I know. Um, but I did hit 500 pounds on the squat. So uh, the previous school record was 495 pounds, just hit 510 pounds for the new uh, school record. So uh, that's pretty cool. I know these records aren't that high, but like um, that's a new squat PR for me personally. And it's a new record, so I'm going to take it. You know, they're not... These aren't like crazy high records or anything, but you know, I'll, I'll definitely take it. So uh, I'm happy with that today. Um, I'm not going to deadlift because I haven't deadlifted in a couple months. So I would try doing the deadlift and going for like a, a huge PR, but haven't deadlifted in a couple months. So it might not go exactly the way I was planning. All right, what's up guys? Today is the day after I just hit those records in the uh, my high school's weight room yesterday. Uh, so today, uh, I just want to show you guys a little ab routine that I'm going through. A lot of you guys have been asking for uh, what I'm doing for abs. So I'll show you guys four exercises I'm doing for abs. Uh, I'm gonna start taking my abs training a little more seriously now uh, that school's over. So today was actually my last day of school, of high school, and now uh, the baseball's over. So I'm gonna show you guys a little ab workout that I'm gonna be doing. Uh, so I'm gonna be doing this every other day. Um, four exercises, we're gonna go three to four sets, you know, depending. Um, you know, at the beginning, I might just do three sets and progress to four sets as I get more used to it. Um, so just like with uh, any of my other training, I'm always telling you guys to use the heaviest weight you possibly can in between a certain rep range. So here I'm going to say we're going to go between 10 to 15 reps here. Uh, so just go use the heaviest weight you can for these ab exercises because I believe that you should be training with the same uh, type of resistance training that you would for any other muscle because we're trying to get your abs to be bigger, blockier, and uh, you know, you're trying to gain some size there too. So for the first exercise, we're going to be doing a hanging knee raise from the pull-up bar. All right, so I'm going to be using uh, 
just use some straps for this one. Uh, that way I don't have to worry about the grip at all. I can just hang there and just worry about the abs. Um, so, I'm going to show you guys with body weight. It's pretty simple. weight onto that as well because that was just with my body weight so I could add uh, a dumbbell so all you're gonna do is put the dumbbell in between your two feet all right so you're gonna start with just a 10 pound dumbbell here so that is the first ab exercise I'm showing you guys here, so we're using the rope from the high pulley here. Uh, it's a pretty common one. So we are taking the rope just like you do for like a tricep push down or anything. Coming right here, and you're just gonna crunch it down. Try to bring your elbows to your knees, um, and try to keep your uh, your hips in about the same area. So you don't want your hips to go back too much because then you're kind of defeating the purpose. So. Again, we're going 10 to 15 reps on this one. Um, so yeah, like I was saying, you want to bring your elbows down, crunch it to your to your knees. When you come to you come to the top, you want to allow yourself um, your whole body to straighten out, your whole um, upper body to straighten out, because then you get a, a full stretch in your abs, and then once you get the full stretch, come back down, and you're trying to basically bend bend your abs to get the the complete contraction that your abs can get here. So this is going to be the second one. Uh, go heavy on this one. Okay, so here we're doing a decline uh, sit up uh, on the decline bench here. Um, so what we're gonna be doing is adding some weight to that. So you're gonna do a sit up. I'm gonna use a 25 pound weight here. So this is the third exercise, we have a decline weighted sit up. All right, so for our fourth uh, ab exercise here, we are doing the decline bench again, but we're doing decline leg raises. So you're, you're going on the decline bench the opposite way, you're gonna hold on to the top of it and do leg raises, getting full range of motion going all the way down. The point of that is just to get the extra extension um, with the decline bench. Um, so you get a better stretch in your abs and then it makes it harder on the way up. Be our fourth um, ab exercise here. Um, this one's gonna be a little bit harder to add resistance weight to, unless you have like um, the weights to go around your ankles. That's why we're doing it last. The, all, all the other ones, you can go ahead and add weight to them. Go as heavy as possible. This one's kind of like the end burnout doing with these leg raises. So that is the ab routine that I'm gonna be doing for a little while. I might change it up after a little while, but we're gonna go every other day doing ab training. Uh, and yeah, so go heavy on these just like you would on any other exercise. Go to 10 to 15 reps, three to four sets. All right, so that is gonna be about it for this video today, guys. I uh, just wanted to quickly show you guys uh, those high school lifting records I just hit and wanted to take you through a quick ab routine that I'm doing right now. I'm gonna be trying to get a couple more videos uh, than normal, uh, maybe even two videos per week now. Uh, the school's over and baseball's over. Um, so yeah, be expecting a couple more videos here. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you guys in that next video.